Dr. Mahdi has done many U-turns in his life, but the worst so far is probably his latest U-turn regarding Anwar Ibrahim. Mahdi said Anwar is a political prisoner. Almost 20 years ago in 1998, Mahdi said Anwar is a sodomist. Mahdi said he had in fact known for many years that Anwar is a sodomist and that the police had informed him about it. Many years before the arrest of Anwar, the police submitted a report to me about his misdeeds. Mahdi then said he has asked the IGP Ton Hanif Omar to go and meet Anwar to advise him to stop his activities because the police are monitoring what he is doing and they know about his sexual misconduct. When Anwar was arrested, Mahdi went on TV and related to the whole country about Anwar and he even told Malaysians that Anwar was masturbating his sex partner and all that. They have not only performed sodomy, but during the process, he was doing, uh, he was, uh, I don't know what you call it, he was masturbating this man. Masturbating. embarrassing moments for Malaysians. In Sodomy too, Mahdi again refused to say anything and he wanted people to believe that since Sodomy too had proven Anwar is guilty, that would also mean for Sodomy 1, Anwar was also guilty. Now, Mahdi says Anwar is a political prisoner. After almost 20 years of saying that Anwar is a sodomist, and after saying that he has known for many years about what Anwar was doing and while insisting Anwar tidak layak jadi Perdana Menteri because of his sexual misconduct. Today, he says Anwar is a political prisoner. Uh, the action has to be taken because this man cannot be allowed to become a leader in a country like Malaysia. So of course, I actually interviewed the people uh, he sodomized. Does that mean Anwar was unjustly jailed? Was he fixed up on false allegations? This is a cover-up. He doesn't want people to focus on his uh, misdemeanor. Made until today still refuses to apologize. So if Anwar is a political prisoner, as what Mahdi says, and which for 20 years the whole world was saying Anwar is a political prisoner, then Mahdi has to apologize for what he did, not only to Anwar, but to all Malaysians who had always believed the allegations that Mahdi personally made against Anwar.